Hey, what's up? This is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com, and this is how to play You and Me by Lifehouse. All right, this song is in the key of G, and it's in 6 8. So we get to do the fun uh, strumming pattern in 6, okay? So your basic strumming pattern for this entire song is going to be 1, 2, and 3, and 4, 5, and 6 in. All right, so it's pretty simple. You have down, down, up, down, up, and you just repeat that twice. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Or one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and. All right, so we're going to change the chords on the one and the four as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and we're going to start on a G chord. All right, and the way I'm going to play this G chord is a standard G. Three two zero zero three three, but I'm gonna take out the fifth string altogether. Okay, so I'm just pull off my first finger and I'm gonna mute out the fifth string. So now it becomes three mute zero zero three three. All right, I'm gonna take this position and I'm gonna move it down to a C. Just taking my second finger, my middle finger, moving it down one string. And when I play the C, I'm gonna mute out the top string, play the third fret, mute out the fourth string, and play open three three. All right, then I'm going to do the same thing on the second fret. So we're going from a G to a C, then a G over F sharp, which is 2 mute 0, 0, 3, 3 on the second fret. Then take your first finger, move it down a string, and play mute 2 mute 0, 3, 3 for C over B. So the first four chords of the song are very easy. You have third fret, move it down, second fret, G over F sharp, then move it down one. Okay, so these first four chords are pretty simple. And you're going to play these um, every three beats, doing the strumming pattern. So one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and. All right, going to the uh, next chord. It's an E minor seven. Zero, two, two, zero, three, three. Moving to a D suspended. Mute the top string, zero, zero, two, three, three. Then back to the C suspended two chord. All right, then when we play the C suspended two chord the second time throughout the verse, he does use his first finger on the fourth string second fret, and you can do a pull off. Okay, so that's done on the introduction. So the whole thing. Alright, then that's the same chord progression for the verse. What day is it? And in what month this clock never seems so alive? I can wake up, I can back down, no losing too much time. Alright, so at the end of the verse, he hangs on to that C chord a little a little longer than just three counts. So it's one, two, three, four. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Cause it's you and me. All right, so 12 counts in all at the end of the verse where he's playing that C chord. All right, which brings us to the chorus. You and me and all other people. All right, so we got a G. Same G we played at the beginning. Then we're moving to an A minor seven. We're gonna mute out the top. Play open, two, open, one, three. All right, then we're moving to a C, C suspended two, the same one we've been playing, and we're gonna play that twice. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So G for three counts, A minor seven for three counts, and then the C for six counts. Cause it's you and me, and all other people. All right, nothing to do. We're gonna go to an E minor seven after that. Same one in the verse, to a G. Then back to the E minor seven. Nothing to lose. To a D suspended, okay? So that uh, chorus entire chord progression was G, A minor seven, C twice, E minor seven, G, E minor seven, D. Okay, whole thing. Cause it's you and me and all other people and nothing to do. 
nothing to lose if it's you. Then you play the same thing again twice. I don't know. I can't keep my eyes off of you. Alright, then at the end of the chorus, we're going to stop on a C. So the first verse and the first chorus both end on that C suspended too. Alright, then you go to play the second verse. And the second chorus. Now, the second time you play the chorus, it doesn't end on the C, it ends on the, a G. Because we're going to move into the bridge. So, I don't know why I can't keep my eyes off you. One, two, three, four, five, six. G for six counts. And then we'll move to a, a B minor. And it's just going to be a standard B minor bar chord. Alright, so the way to do this is play an A minor. Zero, zero, two, two, one, zero. But leave your first finger out of that chord. So play it with your um, third finger, fourth finger, and second finger moving down the strings. And then we're going to take that A minor position, move it up a whole step or two frets. Okay, so now we're zero, zero, four, four, three open. We're going to take our available first finger and put it over the entire second fret to bar that chord. All right, so B minor. Something about you now to a C suspended two. Okay, so the first two chords. Something about you now. Go to a G. I can't quite figure out. So we go to a G. Walk it down to the G over F sharp, just like in the beginning of the song down to the E minor 7. Then everything she does. Everything she does is beautiful. Alright, two uh, things we can do here. We can go to an A minor 7 or just an A minor. 0, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0 to a D. So, starting uh, with the beginning of the bridge. A minor to D. Alright, then to a B minor again. Then move this up a half step, this B minor bar chord, up to a C minor bar chord. Then a D at the end. Then you're going back to the chorus. Alright, so that entire bridge, played one time. Alright, so um, you're going to hold this B minor at the beginning out for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. To a C. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you go to the G and then G over F sharp, both of those chords together are six beats. So three each. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then A minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. D. Two, three, four, five, six. B minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the C minor is actually six beats, then three extra beats. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three on the D. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, D, four, five, six. And then you go back to the G, you play the chorus, and there you go, you got the entire song.